does your bio stop the scroll on Instagram? This is an interesting question, right? If you want to know how to get your bio to stop people from scrolling on Instagram so that they can have a look at what you do and follow you, here is the place to be. Hi, my name is Beatrice Yakubo, the founder of Beatrice Yakubo Media, where we do everything digital, helping small business owners to grow their businesses using the power of social media. So if we haven't met before, that's me. Come join me on social media at Beatrice Iacobo Media. All my handles. Now, back to the point of Instagram. We are going to talk about Instagram and how you can get your bio to a standard so that when people come on your um, platform or if they are scrolling and having to chance you, they would uh, stop, have a look at what you do and uh, perhaps uh, become your follower. How do they do that? We are going to talk about this in five ways or five steps that you need to take to make this actually happen. Step one is your name. What the account that you are creating, are you creating a personal account or are you creating a business account? So there are two things, two ways that you can do this. It doesn't matter which one you create, whether you choose your, your name or you choose a business. But when you talk about business uh, page or business uh, account, it gives you an opportunity so that you can look at the statistics behind the scene, what you're doing. Other than that, you know, it's fine. Instagram is pictorial. Instagram is um, glamorous, I would say. And uh, what I also want to let you understand is that Instagram is not just for the young people anymore. Instagram is for everybody and you know it's important that if you've got the hang of it with regards to the other social platforms that you are on um, giving Instagram a go because I do not subscribe to the um, aspect of you being on several social media platforms and that actually makes your business suffer but if you are able if where you are now whatever platform that you are using if you're quite comfortable with that, then indeed you need to be giving Instagram uh, a serious thought as well. So your name and then the handle. The handle is important also because that is how people are able to search you. So is it searchable? Is it a name that people can easily find uh, when it comes to them looking for you? So you need to bear that in mind. I was listening to one a lady talking about branding and she said, you know, if your account is ending one, two, three, four, five, um, your handle, I mean, you know, that is something that you need to do something about because when you become creative, you'll be able to find a, 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 a befitting name for your, um, for your platform. Also, in terms of the, the, the handle, bear in mind the name and the handle is about 30 characters, so you can't really go in the tangents with that one. The next one is um, ensuring that your profile uh, picture is clear enough. I cannot over, this cannot be overemphasized, I cannot stress this enough because I see that quite a lot. I mean, not so much on Instagram, but on Facebook, you know, where you are, and then on LinkedIn, where your picture is not actually showing who you are. You want people to see you at least um, a headshot where they can see you smile, where they can see you, um, you know, nicely presented. Because remember that uh, they say picture speaks more than a thousand words. Uh, your image is your gateway to people's hearts because when they see that you are a person and you have a, a likable personality, people are able to judge. So it's important that you put a nice picture on the on the profile. And also, if you are if you decide to use a logo, that's fine. But that logo should be something that's also a clear image as well. That is, uh, you know, portraying what you do. Then we move on to the aspect of uh, the bio itself, where you write on what you do. Now, in terms of that, you are so restricted, 150 characters, that is just not on. But we have to manage with that space and a lot of people have managed with it and it works. So I know that 
it can work. So for instance, um, Jay Shetty, if you look at his bio, if you look at my bio as well, um, uh, Beatrice Yakubo Media, it looks, um, it, it meets all these criteria and um, a lady called Create and, and Cultivate. She also has um, creates creative and culture. She also has this um, nice uh, bio. So just bear those in mind in terms of if you are kind of looking at Instagram, what, what is the example that I'm talking about? So yes, in terms of the number 150 words, and that is supposed to be talking about who are you? What do you do? How do you help people? Because remember, all people want is how do you help them? Because that's the most important thing rather than anything else. Uh, what you do doesn't even matter, but how do you then help these people? And um, they, they, they remember also to put in uh, emojis because with Instagram, emojis is a big thing. So you need to put in emojis as well. Last but not the least, uh, the list is your link. Because the space is too small, only one link is, uh, you know, kind of takes a lot of space. And here is how we beat this in terms of getting so much information in when it comes to Instagram. You need to be using Linktree. If you are not using one before, think about it. You need to be using Linktree. Why? Because Linktree gives you an opportunity so that you can link up all, and I mean all the links that you ever desire to, to present to anybody on one platform. And then it then gives you just one link so that when you place that link on Instagram, when someone clicks on the link, then it takes them to these places. What can you put on that link tree? You can put your website, your Facebook, your, um, your LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, uh, podcast. If you have a book that you sell, if you have a, a, a PDF, if you have a guide, landing page, anything at all that you want that has a link that you want people to have access to, you can put it on the link tree. And guess what? Also remember to decorate that link tree nicely with beautiful colors um, so that it is desirable for people so that when they click on, they'll be able to go from one place that is on Instagram to know more about you on your website or know more about you on LinkedIn or know more about you somewhere else uh, in terms of what you offer them. So those are the tips that uh, I'm sharing with you today. Just recap name. What name do you want to use for your Instagram? Uh, what handle uh, do you, the handle, uh, you know, is it a searchable handle? You need to be creative about the handle. That is very important. Ensuring that your profile picture is right. Ensuring that you have um, the bullet points of the things that you do. And the last but not the least is Linktree to kind of carry all the things that you want to expose to people to know more about you. Thank you so much for watching. If this has made any sense to you or if this has given you value, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, send me a comment and I will be delighted to read from you. Take care. Have a fun day, evening, night, whatever time. Take care.